Mun. Kerbin's closest neighbor, Mun, is a rather large celestial body, mostly grey in appearance, with craters of various sizes dotting its otherwise smooth surface. Its discovery is widely regarded as one of the more important breakthroughs of Kerbal evolution. And ever since it was discovered, Kerbals longed towards it, hoping to visit it one day. It was the discovery of Mun that led to the foundation of Kerbal Space Program, an initiative to reach it. But it wasn't a short journey. We had to start with understanding propulsion, making our first flights. The invention of staging gave us the tools to reach higher. The developments in life support systems allowed us to finally reach space, which in turn gave us a test bed to develop communications equipment that can work over thousands of kilometers, to invent guidance systems that could allow us to build probes and to make solar panels that can provide energy for them. And all the world held their breath as years of our passion culminated in our satellite, the Aurora, reaching a stable orbit around the Mun. But it didn't end there. We had to put a Kerbal on the Mun. We assume these must have been... Your goal is to analyze them for the presence of... It is imperative that the others don't know. This is too important to risk telling them. So, that's why we're going there? Yes. The entire space program was founded to answer this. Anubis, this is KSC. We're initiating flight systems check. Please stand by. Roger that, KSC, giving you flight controls. Can we get this over with and start flying? Jeb, I know you're badass and all, but I'd personally love to make sure everything's fine. Agreed, we wouldn't want the first MUN mission to explode. Bet that would have been a cool explosion. Anubis, all systems pass. You are go for launch. Affirmative. Initiating flight controls. KSC, Anubis is ready to start. Commencing countdown procedure. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Power internal. 3, ignition. 2, 1, lift off. KSC, Anubis has reached orbit. Congratulations. Release payload fairing. Prepare for transmuter injection. Deploying fairing. Trajectory set, proceeding to maneuver node. with the OSIRIS module. Separation in three, two, one, detached. Separation complete. Setting OSIRIS to maintain direction. Switching to docking mode. Reorienting Anubis. Target set. Beginning docking procedure. Separation ring clear. Making first alignment. Alignment complete. 
setting roll. Z-axis aligned, making final correction. Beginning docking approach. KSC, Anubis docked with Osiris. Performing systems check. Connection complete. Power synchronized. Performing Anubis man engine check. Detaching booster stage in 3, 2, 1. Detached. Visual confirmation complete. Docking procedure successful. Starting fuel cells and high speed communication. Guys, I need to go on a spacewalk to check the scientific equipment. Sure, we've got lots of time till we reach Mun orbit. Elsa, do you copy? Mom, have you secured the package? Yes, the experiment survived the ascent. All good. Do the others know? No, they still don't know. Good. Keep it that way. Hey, I've noticed that Bob opened one of the long-range antennas on Osiris. Well, did he transmit anything? I see only a couple of scientific readings, but that should have used a lot less power. Hey, Bob, we've noticed you've used the antenna on Osiris. Yes, I've sent a few measurements. Took a few tries to calibrate. See, he might have just deleted the previous attempts to save disk space. But why use the antenna on the Osiris? It's a lot less efficient than the Anubis long-range array. Don't overthink it. We've got plenty of power to spare. <laughs> 